We've been working on the idea of LED conversion for quite a while, since 2009, looking into all the different aspects of it. It wasn't a new surprise. We've been preparing for it for a number of years. Our HPS system is aging and we're finding that we've got a lot of failures, a lot more maintenance activity, and we're looking at a significant investment in maintaining that system going forward. And one of the main drivers for an LED conversion is uh, efficiencies, uh, cost effectiveness and, and operating effectiveness. So we got involved in Hamilton approximately two years ago and we started talking to the city about its needs and around street lighting, their goals, around sustainability and maintenance and energy savings. And we're involved in a pilot. The project is the replacement of approximately 10,000 existing high-pressure sodium Cobra headlights. So Horizon Utilities played a number of roles to assist the City of Hamilton with their LED initiative. It's our job to be the application expert and to link the City of Hamilton to the available incentives through the Save on Energy Retrofit Program, which we offer in partnership through the Independent Electricity System Operator, or the IESO. The, the business case for this, on top of the incentive, is the energy savings. What we're doing with this project is moving from a baseline of around 6.8 megawatts with our existing system to just over 5 megawatts once we're completed the LED conversion. Street lighting represents approximately 20% of Hamilton's overall electricity bill. The related energy savings to that in a dollar term is, is over $800,000 a year. The business projections for the 10,000 light conversion suggested that we would drop around 50% of the total energy consumption. Once we went through a design process, we were able to realize a 57% drop. We're looking at uh, 1.6 megawatts of power that's enough to power 750 homes and 700 tons a year in the CO2 savings. The criteria for selecting the LED products on this particular project was all an effort through a pre-qualification process where we defined the minimum standards for those products, the constructability of the fixtures, the dimensional weight, and, and some other pre-established standards that kind of based in the industry. We had sample layouts within that pre-qualification. They had to complete those layouts and prove that their fixtures could adequately light roadways and sidewalks. There was a two-step process involved. We have to set out request for pre-qualification for the LED lights and make vendors aware of what we're doing. If you're interested, if you have a product that suits our needs, please let us know. Well, the City of Hamilton did a very good job in investigating what options were in the marketplace. And by doing so, they came up with a pre-approval process based on technical standards and performance standards uh, as a minimum, and we were able to be approved on that list. The GE Evolve product has been an approved product for the City of Hamilton since 2012. Because of the timelines and because of the fact we only have one shot at this, we can't afford to hire a contractor or get stuck into a situation where we got somebody on board who then realizes that they can't do this in the time frame that we need. We constructed a contract with incentives and disincentives, so there was a significant incentive or reward to be finished on time and early. We utilize moon mats to do a detailed design on best fit LED light in the best area. Based on manufacturing capabilities, we were able to deliver a thousand fixtures per week to meet the needs of this project for the installer. With this project, it was very well coordinated from respect to the consultant, City of Hamilton, our agent, Time at Solutions, and GE Lighting whereby we encountered absolutely no major issues. During the project implementation, Horizon staff and city staff worked closely together to ensure the process was flowing smoothly and that the information was available to validate the equipment that was being installed to ensure that the energy savings were captured and the incentives could be gained. So we've been pushing very hard to achieve a, a tight timeline, 10,000 lights in fundamentally a one year window. We overachieved on our, our savings by going through a proper design phase. And post-project, we will be engaging with a third-party engineering firm to complete the evaluation, verification, and measurement of the energy savings. City of Hamilton engaged ESRI Canada through a procurement process to help us deliver this project. Uh, we selected the ArcGIS platform 
and from that we've been able to work on a common database of all of the lighting point features, use it with our design consultant as well as with our field consultant as well as with our student and inspection staff. So having everyone working off a common platform, having everyone contribute to the same database has added significant value to the city as well as it really accelerated the project. The database that we created has really helped us monitor and manage this installation. So we've been very successful in managing this project through Field Database. This pilot will encompass uh, 50 luminaires along with a gateway and a cellular modem. And the objective of this pilot is to understand how our 0.5% metering is effective for them in addition to inventory and maintenance control plus overlighting where necessary in certain areas and also dimming still to RP8 levels when required. There's numerous benefits to LED lighting technology. Firstly, it's a better quality of light. So you've got reduced glare, you've got more light on the roadway surface as well as the sidewalk. Also, the lighting is dark sky compliant, which means there's less upward lighting above the fixture, which reduces light pollution. There are approximately 2.7 million street lights in Canada today. Imagine the energy savings we'd see by converting all of those to LEDs, a technology more than 50% efficient than traditional light sources. Imagine the time we'd save in maintenance with LEDs that last more than a decade. It's no wonder cities across Canada, cities like Hamilton, are taking note. And the time to activate LEDs is now.